Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLead.com Gaming Electronic Podcast, back with another iOS app review. And today I'm taking a look at Pitfall, the 30th anniversary edition that was just released on the iPhone and iPad iOS devices. Um, Pitfall was developed by The Blast Furnace and published by Activision for this version. And it's 99 cents in the App Store. It's a universal app, so it'll work for both your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Now, I was really excited to hear that the Blast Furnace and Activision were bringing this to the App Store because I'm in my early 30s and I grew up with an Atari playing Pitfall and I loved that game. It was just, uh, and now I look back and, you know, I can't remember half of it. I just remember that it was a lot of nostalgia and a lot of fun. And uh, so I was really excited to see Pitfall coming to this device for those reasons, hoping to kind of recover some of that magic from when I was a kid. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a unique review here because, uh, first of all, this is not the Pitfall we grew up with. It's a brand new version and a brand new genre, which is going to be a surprise to a lot of people. So I'm going to tell you what I love about the game and what I dislike about the game. Uh, first of all, you do play as Pitfall Harry once again, but now instead of playing in the uh, inspired 1982 classic, you play in a Endless Runner, which is a popular genre. Something You think something like Temple Run or uh, Agent Dash for the iOS device. Those are going to be um, other games in the Endless Runner genre. And so they've decided to go this route with Pitfall, um, which makes it unique. So let's first of all talk about what I like. Uh, Pitfall as an Endless Runner. Um, this is one of the best Endless Runners I've played, and it's because uh, the Blast Furnace and Activision, they put a lot of thought into what games are popular in the Endless Runner series, and um, and all of those things and so this is one of the best ones I've played uh, first of all there's really cool enemies there's snakes scorpions and more um, if you get hit once you don't die automatically you get stung and you get poisoned now you can relieve the poison with an in-app purchase uh, of healing or you can just wait um, until it goes away but if you get stung twice in a row you're done the way to combat enemies is you can either um, I think you can jump over them. I'm not really sure because I like cracking the whip. They tell you to crack the whip, so that's what I do. So if you tap anywhere on the screen, um, you can crack the whip and kill the enemy in front of you. The other thing about this game that's really good is that there's changing environments. There's a cave, a jungle, a village, a mine, and more. And they're always kind of rotating around and how and how they go. And that's just in the first 500 or 5,000 meters. That's the furthest I've made it so far. Um, the other thing is that there's changing cameras, so it's really cool how uh, they respect 2D and 3D here. So the game kind of starts in 2D, as you can see at the beginning of this video, and then moves to a 3D perspective, kind of like a temple run. And then it'll kind of go back to a hybrid angled perspective, and then some to 2D, then back to 3D. And I really like it. It keeps the Endless Runner series fresh. Because um, remember, you're trying to run the farthest, get the highest score, and all those things. There are achievements in the form of these retro Activision patches, which are really cool. And then the game also introduces uh, something called Checkpoint. Now this is something I haven't really seen before in a runner, but if you get to, let's say, 2,000 meters in a game or 6,000 meters in a game, um, and then there's more checkpoints uh, further past where I've gotten, but you get five attempts to um, start at that checkpoint again the next round so that we don't have to play through maybe say like the first two or six thousand meters again, which is really, really cool. Now the extra attempts do cost jewels. Uh, which would require an in-app purchases, but you do get five free ones at the beginning of the game. There are also some cool power-ups, such as riding a Jaguar. Um, you can you, you collect this coin, you get on the back of a Jaguar, you're basically untouchable, invisible for a certain amount of time, and you get a speed boost. So those are all the things I like about the game. It's 99 cents, it's one of the best Endless Runners I've played, and I do encourage you to pick it up if you love the genre. Now what I don't like about this game is first of all the graphics they did a cell shaded uh, ultra style cell shaded thing that only has a few colors in the game and it really almost bleeds together and becomes frustrating for your eyes sometimes I, it just does not work real well together um, now also this is not a pitfall and that's kind of the biggest thing I don't like is that this isn't the pitfall I remember and I didn't it didn't have to be the pitfall I remember but seriously to go a whole different genre that's kind of a big deal so retro gamers like myself for the 30th anniversary of pitfall without something from the original game other than the character's name I don't think so Activision I don't really like that and at the very least I would have loved and I kept looking everywhere for this and I couldn't find it a copy of the original game included uh, if I'm gonna pay for this I would have loved to have a copy of the original pitfall game which they didn't have so in conclusion as a runner the controls are great 
The gameplay's great. This is my new favorite Endless Runner game, and I really like the genre and really enjoyed this one. As a retro gamer, this 30th anniversary release is a big disappointment and left a lot to be desired. So I'm going to let you decide if you want this one or not. 99 cents in the App Store. Make sure you like and favorite this video. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on G2PO. This has been Tony from the Classic Week Gaming Electronic Podcast signing out.